Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create an RGB split in Adobe After Effects. So basically, it looks a little something like this. You have whatever your normal image is, and then you can split it in any way that you'd like, and maybe have it go back to normal, or maybe go off to infinity. It's your choice. It's really something that you can edit and make your own. So let's get started on this. First off, we're just gonna go ahead and create ourselves a new composition to work from. Then what you need to do, is import your footage. You can really use anything you want. I'm just gonna use the emblem like I used last time right here. And then once you have your footage imported, sized up and everything is good to go with it, you wanna go ahead and duplicate it twice. You can either hit Control C, Control V, which is copy and paste, or you can hit Control D just to duplicate directly. Uh, on a Mac, I believe that would be Command CV and Command D to copy and paste and duplicate respectively. So what we want to do now is we want to split these into um, our different colors. So we need to rename these so we know what they are when we're going to split them. So this one will be red. This one down here will be, um, let's go with green. And then this one is going to be blue. And so now what we need to do is we need to grab something in our effects that will help us only select the colors that are red, green, and blue. Um, I like to actually use the curves for this. So if you just grab curves, drag it onto here, it's sort of, I guess, intuitive in a sense. You just go up to the green. So for example, on the reds here, uh, this, is, this curve has been applied to the red layer. We clicked it, we dragged it over. Now we can go and we can go into the green and drag that all the way down. And then we go into the blue and we drag that all the way down. And you'll see now we have just a pure red image right here. And now we're gonna do the same thing with the green. If you wanna see what it's doing while we're, uh, while it's happening, you can go ahead and just hide the first layer here. And so this one is green, so we want to bring down the red and bring down the blue. We want to keep whatever color it is untouched and we want to bring down the other two colors. And now we have a pure green emblem. And then the last one, we need to do the same thing. I know what you were thinking, uh, you know, this is, one is already blue, but there's still some other colors mixed in there. So we have to just make sure that all of those colors are out of there. It'll change just a little bit, but it is essential to make sure that the color pattern stays the same. And so now that we have all three of these, what we want to do is we want to go to the modes right here. Maybe you're on this right here. Go ahead and click the button down here to toggle the switches. And now you can switch this on over to screen and switch this one onto screen as well. And you'll see that it rebuilds the color here and you wanna just make sure that the bottom one is on screen as well. This is just to make sure that when they split, they all uh, sort of interact in the same manner. So now we have all three of them. You see that they've combined back together. But if we drag out the, the different layers, you can see that we have the three color channels. It's just that whenever we combine the three color channels, we actually recreate our original image because that's kind of how RGB works. It's just a combination of those colors to create your normal image. So now that we have all three of these. Now we can animate the actual movement, the actual splitting of the color channels. What we need to do is go up here and create ourselves a new null object. So we can go up to File, New, or uh, my bad, layer, new, and then null object. And then we want to drag on some slider controls. And basically what we're doing is we're building like a little control panel up here. So we can rename this into anything like, you know, it's our RGB uh, split controller right here. Uh, and so up here, these are going to be our three sliders. And so what we want to do is we want to be able to control the position of our red, our green, and our blue. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to drop down the position on all three of these. To do it quickly like this, you just click the P key once you're on here. You don't need to do that. You can drop down uh, to transform and then go to position like so. But just hitting the P will make it a little cleaner and you can see it a lot easier. We then want to hold down the Alt key and click on the stopwatch right here. That is going to activate our expression controls and we're going to use the very popular wiggle. Uh, like I've said in other videos, this is an essential command to know in After Effects. Really simple, but allows you to have amazing control over basically randomness. So once we create our wiggle, we want to go up to the RGB split up here on the top. And actually, we want to lock this down right now. We don't want it to switch. So now whenever we click on others, it'll always be this RGB split controller. And so we're going to go back into here. Make sure you have the expression selected where the cursor is blinking on this side. This is the sort of intensity, uh, the quickness of it. So if you want to make this higher or lower, it'll change a little bit of the jaggedness. Um, but what we're going to control on the right over here is we're going to assign this to a slider control. And that's going to give us the control over it through this slider sort of 
up here. So once I click on that, you'll see that it puts in all the code for us, this comp dot layer, our GPC split, it goes through all that stuff for us. All we have to do is just finish off the last parentheses right here because it doesn't come with one so right when we finish it off it'll make it a legitimate expression that warning will go away and we now have this controller that's going to affect it and you see now once i turn it up to 55 the red is now being all jagged and jumping all over the place we want to do the exact same thing to the other two so we're just going to hold down the alt wiggle and then we want to open parentheses 10 comma click the pick whip right here, drag it up to our second slider, not our first slider, that's red. So our second slider is now going to be the green. Finish off that parenthesis and do it for the third one as well. Hold down Alt, wiggle, 10, and drag it on up to the third parenthesis. Make sure to close out your parentheses. And now we have control over all of them. And since we have control over all of them, we can actually animate keyframes. So if we just highlight all these, we can bring them and close them all back down. And let's go ahead and open up this and go into the effects and now open up all of the slider controls right here. And so what we can do is we can activate the animation on all three of these, move to a point that we want it to start. So maybe we want it to start right here. So we can go ahead and put some keyframes right here so that this, this will remain at zero. And then let's move forward uh, a few frames, maybe like one or two seconds, and then we can sort of jump up these sliders. We can use these controls up here or these three right down here, just to random different values. And you'll see that we now have this this split start and it's you know jumping all over the place maybe we don't want the maybe we want one of them to stay stationary and the other two to kind of split from it that makes it usually look a little bit more solid like so um yeah it just has kind of gives it a little bit more of a solid element to it like right over here in the back here but if you want them all to move it gives it sort of like a glitchy feel to it and then you know you can bring them all back down clicking resets the quickest way to just make zero key markers and so, you know, it comes out and then it slowly goes back to normal. And that is how you RGB split. Like I said, this works with anything. It works with a um, piece of footage. It works with emblems. It works with text. All you got to do is just create a bunch of different layers, bring out only those colors in there, and then just animate them using uh, your slider controls up here. You can also sort of take this and bring it into Premiere Pro by exporting it as a graphics um so if we open an essential graphics, we can actually sort of uh, grab all of our properties, these slider properties, and drag them in up here, like so. And then, you know, name this one red controller, the second one green controller, and this last one here, blue controller. And now if we actually uh, export this, if we create the defaults at zero here, and we actually export this as a motion graphics template, we can open it up in Premiere Pro. Uh, yeah, we'll overwrite that one. We can open this up in Premiere Pro and we can actually drag this over there and we can bring these sort of split values with us into a new project. And as you can see, we're in Premiere Pro. It has been added over here. I should have given it a name because right now it's untitled. But right when I click on it, I can now drag these up. So if you see that they're, if they're all at zero, nothing happens right like so you can see it's playing and nothing is happening right here but if i drag up the controls on this it'll begin to split over here in premiere pro which is pretty neat because now we can don't have to touch after effects if we want to bring this in and we can create sort of animations within premiere pro but that is how you do the effect if you have any questions or comments go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net if you want to see more videos similar to this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make a video every other day on adobe related products and until next time guys see ya